Students, we are going to make a glider. It's going to be made out of cardboard. Looks like this. Believe it or not, this will fly. First things first, you are going to need a template. This is a 8.5 by 11 piece of paper template here. Looks like this. Glued to a piece of cardboard. You have a few pieces here. You have your center wing section. The tips of the wings have winglets. These are going to get folded up. You have the horizontal stabilizer, which is sort of the tail right here. And then you have an inner fuselage with the tail here. You have two outer fuselages. Now your first job will be to take all these pieces and to cut them out. Now when you are cutting your pieces, you got a couple of options. You can use some kitchen shears or you can use a cutting board and an exacto knife. Different people like different things, okay? Different strokes for different folks, like the song says. I personally like to use the kitchen shears because I feel like they cut through cardboard like butter. But I also have, you know, my hands are fairly strong. Okay, so it's easy for me to get through those. All right. I am just going to cut the wing out as best as I can. Try to stay on the line as best as you can. So there I go. If you got any little extra pieces there, just trim them off. Get it looking nice and neat. So there I've got my first wing. My center wing section. Now, the other thing you can do is use your X-Acto knife. Just be sure that when you're using your X-Acto knife to pull away from you. It's always a good idea to pull, not towards you, but away from you, okay? So let's see if I can get... <clears throat> Some people prefer to use the X-Acto knife, and that's fine. If you do that, just make sure that when you're cutting out your pieces, you pull away from you, okay? You don't want to cut towards you, you want to cut away from you, okay? Just like that. And let me get that piece cut right here. So now I have a pretty good horizontal stabilizer, part of my back part of my plane. All right, here's what you should have when you're finished. You should have the horizontal stabilizer, the center wing section, two outer fuselages, and one inner fuselage. It looks like this, it's got the little tail. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is I want to take the inner fuselage here and I'm going to take one of the outer fuselages and glue it on there like this. Now, you'll notice that this angle is the same. Okay, so I'm going to take some hot glue. You could also use Elmer's if you want, but I'm going to use hot glue because it's a little bit quicker. <clears throat> and I am going to line that up just like that, as best as I can, okay? Now, here's where it gets tricky. We are going to take <clears throat> and put this on the other side, the other outer fuselage. Now, you'll be tempted to flip this upside down and put it on there like this, but you'll notice that the angle is not quite right. See how that slopes down sharply? So what you're actually going to have to do is flip it over like that so it matches, okay? The angle looks nice and good like that. So one side, you'll see, has paper. The other side will not, okay? So I'm going to get a little bit of glue. I'm just run it on there. You can use Elmer's if you want. And I'm going to take that and line it up as best as I can, okay? So I have a nice sandwich here. And the two pieces of bread are the outer fuselage. The meat to your sandwich, the peanut butter and jelly, is the inner part that has the tail. So this is what you're looking for. Okay, now we're gonna take the horizontal stabilizer, like this. We're gonna put some glue here in the center, and then, we're going to take our tail of our plane 
and put it right here at the end, like that. Okay? Try to get it nice and centered here. Okay, I'm gonna redo that. Just want it to go right dead center like that. Make sure it's nice and straight too. Okay. Just hold it there until it dries. If you'd like to, you can reinforce the side here with a little bit of tape. Okay, just be sure to get it nice and snug. You don't want to interfere with its aerodynamic qualities. So that looks pretty good. So we're going for. All right, now we're going to take the wing the center wing section and we're gonna bend the winglets up. So I'm gonna take a little ruler here and I'm just gonna pull up just a little bit. We're shooting for about a 45 degree angle. So we'll say right about there. So see how it's kind of up a little bit like that. Don't go too crazy. And we'll just take and bend this up at a 25 to 45 degree angle. So just slightly up like that and you want them to mirror and be the same on both sides okay now that I've got my wings at about a 25 to 45 degree angle on both sides I'm ready to attach them to my plane and what you'll notice is there's a dashed line right here in the center and you just kind of line it up on the center of the fuselage and rather than glue these down we're going to attach these with a rubber band. So slide this around one wing and then we're gonna take this side right here, slide it around the other and you see how, uh oh, you got a little bit off track. What you're gonna do is just kinda get that into the center of the fuselage like that. And what's neat about this is you can play with the length and then make adjustments. Okay? So I feel like that looks pretty good. Let me get my wings tipped up a little bit right there okay and you can if you have enough slack you can loop it again but you don't want to crush your fuselage so that looks pretty good it's on there okay so we got our wings attached got a little bit of an angle to our wings looking good all right guys so I'm gonna add a little bit of weight to the nose I have here two three centimeter pieces of popsicle stick that I cut out and I doubled them up. Now what I'm going to do is take those three centimeter pieces of popsicle stick and I'm going to attach those to the nose of my plane. That's going to provide it a little bit of weight. That's going to help with the center of gravity, gravity and when you fly this thing you keep in mind that you can adjust the wings and move them back and forth.